finished all the wiring and everything I actually had to go in and redo some stuff because um, the RGB was not properly daisy chained so I had to go in and fix that I also installed a Wi-Fi card uh, which honestly I don't like to do but my router is in my living room so I'm not gonna run you know like a huge Ethernet cable so yeah I uh, tested everything RGB and everything is working only problem I had this fan, uh, the top fan was not spinning so I had to change the cable and it fixed it. Uh, it was just the cable that came included with the fan. Everything else after that is pretty smooth. Cable management is pretty good, I think. Um, you guys let me know. Not sure if I'll be upgrading, uh, but I did get a better motherboard uh, just so I have an upgrade path in case I do want to upgrade later. But uh, from the performance it's been giving me, I've been using it the past few days. Uh, I don't feel like I'm going to be upgrading anytime soon. But uh, you know me, always doing something else. I, unpredictable. Let me show you guys all the pretty lights. Whoops, we got the power on the power supply. There we go. And... Yup. <laughs> I also have an exhaust fan that's uh, lighting up. There you go. So these fans are pretty sick uh, from Scythe. Thank you so much for sending me these fans and this awesome cooler that... Uh, it really does a great job. I can feel the air from here. <laughs> you know, after I had a high-end PC for so long, I feel dumb for spending that kind of money because I don't need that much performance and I can barely notice a difference. And I'm not like some crazy pro player or something. I'll probably upgrade uh, the GPU later on. Uh, I don't need the like highest end stuff, so I'm probably not going to get like a 3080. Uh, might consider 3070. We'll probably end up getting a used 1080 Ti. And something I really want to do is get two 1080 Ti's and SLI them. I know the heat output is going to be a lot though, so I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure actually if I want to do that, but yeah, that would be like super sick. Um, I've seen the benchmarks for SLI 1080 Ti and supported games are going crazy with them. It's just something weird that I want to try out, you know, I think SLI is really cool. Uh, and the latest generation has SLI for a $1,500 graphics card, which I'm not going to be getting probably anytime soon. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think the 4000D case is pretty good. Uh, the only complaint I have with it is I hate the way you have to take off the panels. Like you, you have to like you have to pull really hard, and then. You feel like you're just gonna, it's gonna come loose and you're just gonna come crashing into a wall or something. Taking off the side panels on this case really sucks, I hate it. Um, but any, everything else is pretty good. Good cable management and everything, easy to build in. Uh, you can make it look clean. Cable management is good. Yeah, it's a simple blacked out build. There we go. Looks uh, very simple. So uh, after having a really nice looking PC for a few months I realized I don't care how my PC looks um, I care how the cable management inside is but everything else besides that I don't really care uh, I don't care that much as long as it doesn't look like terrible you know 
Like, uh, this looks like just a standard PC. And uh, gets the job done for everything. And uh, I'm happy with it. These fans from Scythe are actually really cool. Uh, they do move a lot of air as well. My temperatures are very low. And the airflow is great. Like, just keeping my hand up here, there's so much air coming out. And these aren't even at full speed. These are just, uh, these are just at the speed they came stock. They're pretty quiet, very silent. Yeah, these fans definitely get the job done. I'm not sure what speed they're running at, but uh, yeah. Okay guys, so I'm installing a bunch of programs, I'm editing a video, and I have so many Chrome tabs open, so many things with this PC, and the temperature has not gone over 65 degrees Celsius, which is insane. So yeah, the temps are very good on this computer, and uh, back to editing. Okay guys, so we have uh, Overwatch set up. Uh, you can ignore this uh, monitor refresh rate thing. Um, hopefully you guys can see my FPS. I'm getting almost 240 FPS. Yeah, same thing. Almost 240 FPS. With an overclock, I would be hitting 240. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I would definitely be hitting 240 FPS if I had an overclock on. Screw this ball in general. Oh my god, someone else got it. Okay, my reign of terror continues. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Watch this. <laughs> okay. Fifteen hundred FPS in Minecraft. Can't believe it. Oh wow. Okay. But yeah, obviously I'm not just gonna stay consistent. Fifteen hundred FPS. Uh, let's join a match. So I'm still getting over a thousand FPS. Pretty insane. Okay. Yeah. This is a pretty crazy system, and just to show you guys that I actually, actually I'm using the $600 PC. Here we go, got GeForce Experience, and my rig, 1650 Super Ryzen 3 3100, right in there. Oh yeah.